Hello. You can say hello now. Hello. So, Zoe is on holiday and we thought we might like to read a story um, from the picture book set. Oh, show everybody this set. There we go. Hello. It's quite heavy. There we go. I'll hold it. You hold it. That's it. You hold me. There we go. So we've got our box set, the picture book special offer. So this was one, this is one that's on offer. It's down to nineteen ninety nine for twelve. Really good, really good set. And what do you think? Are you excited? Yeah. And there's some good stories in there. Yeah. Cool. And which one are we going to be reading today? Um, I didn't want that one. I'm going to choose a different one. All right. Okay. Go on then. You choose a different one. We thought we'd we thought we'd we'd chosen. We'll choose a different one. Oh. We haven't had yet. Okay, what's that one? Hold it up so everybody can see. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to have the elephant who lost his trunk. Okay? Let's turn everybody around so that they can see the pictures. There we go. Right. How the elephant got his trunk. Okay, you're going to help me with the pages. Hold I'll on. hold it. You hold it, thanks. I'll hold it with it. That's it. Hold it, hold it so people can see it. There we are. Okay, cool. Right, are we ready? Let's do the first page then. You do the pages. Okay, here we go. Once in a time long forgotten, elephants didn't have trunks. They just had short, stumpy noses. Ooh. This story tells how these short, stumpy noses became long. Okay, can you turn the page for me? Okay. Baby elephant was very curious. He was always asking questions. Why does ostrich have feathers? Why does giraffe have spots? One day he asked, what does crocodile eat? Hush, baby elephant, said his mother. Turn the page for me. So elephant went to see his friend snake. What does crocodile eat, he asked. I don't know, Snake replied. He lives in the Great Green Limpopo River. Why not ask him yourself? Turn the page for me. Elephant went down to the Great Green Limpopo River. He found Crocodile basking in the shallows. Excuse me, Crocodile, what do you eat? Elephant asked politely. Crocodile smiled a dangerous smile. Why, little elephant, don't you know? <gasps> what does he shout? Elephant! Elephants! Oh no! With a quick snip snap, Crocodile caught Elephant's nose. <gasps> let go! squealed Elephant. But Crocodile did not let go. He pulled and pulled as hard as he could. Oh dear, said Snake. Help, cried Elephant, I'm slipping. A little white bird called ho caught hold of his tail. Okay. Snake wound himself around Elephant's tummy. They pulled and pulled with all their might. At last, Crocodile let go. <gasps> Maybe I'll have fish today, he said, and slunk back into the river. <gasps> oh no, said Elephant, look. His nose had stretched. It was a little sore and very, very long. Don't worry, said Snake. A long nose might be useful. Turn the page. Elephant's nose soon felt better. And to his surprise, he did find it useful. With his new long nose, Elephant could squirt water, brush pesky flies away, and pick juicy fruit from tall trees. Okay, to the page. Elephant went home happily and showed his family his new long nose. Where did you get that? Everyone asked. Crocodile gave it to me, said Elephant. To the page. When they saw how useful Baby Elephant's new long nose was, all the others went down to the Great Green Limpopo River. 
and got long noses too. There he goes. What do you think Crocodile thought about that? But he thought his, all his breakfasts, lunch and dinners had come at the same time, didn't he? And there we go. That's the elephant who lost his tail. Can I have a different one? Can I have another one? <laughs> Shall we say bye-bye to everybody first? Bye! Shall we say bye-bye? Bye! What did you think of that story? Yes! Was that good? Yes! Are you being the snake? Yes! <laughs> okay, say bye-bye to everybody. Bye! Bye! <laughs>